Welcome to Sometime 4, page 27. Statistics 12. Today we're going to talk about rounding off. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to add together big numbers. There's a simple trick we can use. The answers we get are not completely accurate, but they give us a good idea of what the final figure might be. This skill is useful when you're shopping. It's so embarrassing to get to the checkout and find you don't have enough money. To round off a number to the nearest 10, you go up to the next 10 if the number is 5 or more. And you go down to the 10 below if the number is 4 or less. For example, 45, that's 5, you go up to 50. 44, that's 4, you go down to 40. 46, 6 is 5 or more, you go up to 50. 43, 3 is 4 or less, you go down to 40. So 45 becomes 50, 44 becomes 40. 46 becomes 50, 43 becomes 40. Add them together and you get 180. Not quite accurate because if you add the real figures together you get 178. But it's close enough. So if we want to round off these numbers to the nearest 10, what do we get? 29 becomes 30, 36 becomes 40, 42 becomes 40, 91 becomes 90, 28 becomes 30, 53 becomes 50, 17 becomes 20, 11 becomes 10. And add them all together, we get 310. The correct answer would have been 307. But you see, close enough. Let's look at the two examples we've just done. In the first one, the real answer was 178. The rounded off answer was 180, slightly more. In the second one, the real answer was 307. The rounded off answer was 310, again, slightly more. But sometimes the differences can be quite great. Let's look at these. 24 becomes 20, 83 becomes 80, 72 becomes 70, 42 becomes 40, 53 becomes 50, 91 becomes 90. If we add the rounded off numbers together, we get 350. If we add up the real numbers, we get 365. So why is the difference so great? Well, you'll notice in this case, we rounded all the numbers down. So if you round all the numbers down, or all the numbers up, it won't be quite as accurate. But most of the time, you round up and round down, so the answer is quite good. Now to round off to the nearest 100, you work like this. If the number is 50 or more, you simply go up to the next 100. If the answer is 49 or less, go down to the 100 before. So 159 becomes 200. 242 becomes 200. So the rounded off number is 400 and the real number is 401. This is pretty useful when you're shopping. See you again soon.